Hi class, I'm here in Alberta, Canada at Banff National Park. We're at Moraine Lake. As you can see, it's absolutely beautiful. I wanted to take a moment to stop and explain the geology to you so you could at least be a little bit on this visit with me. So first off, these cliffs we see behind us, those were deposited in an ocean. There used to be an ocean here 560 million years ago. Uh, along this ocean, this coastline, there was a bunch of sand and silt that was deposited. Later on, this sand and silt was buried deep beneath the earth and become, it became metamorphosed and turned into quartzite and slate. And that's what we see on the ground all around us. So let's fast forward many millions of years to the last glacial maximum, which was, it was about 20,000 years ago. There was a giant glacier here. This glacier carved this valley that we see behind us. If you look, you can see that it, it's a flat bottom. It's shaped like a U. That's a great signature of a glacial valley. Right now where I'm standing, there are tons of boulders. This is basically a hill of just a pile of boulders. These boulders were deposited by this glacier that was moving through this canyon. It's called a moraine. And this moraine is the terminal moraine. It marks the end of where the glacier is at. So the glacier came all the way to where we're standing. If you look over there, you see a ridge covered with, with pine trees. That's called the lateral moraine. And that marks the side of the glacier. So as the glacier pushed through, it deposited things on the side and also on the end where we're standing. Okay, one more tidbit that I left out. Uh, you see snow in the background. There is snow here. We're pretty far north. We're at a higher elevation, but there is no glacier here right now. Um, since the last 20,000 years, the climate has shifted and it's become a lot warmer. And the glacier that deposited these boulders, these moraines, it has melted and it's no longer here. There are still glaciers in the area, just not right where we're standing. And the depression that the glacier left allowed for this beautiful lake moraine to be here. All right, still in Banff National Park. Here we have another glacial valley. You can see it's flat on the bottom, steep on the sides. It has that nice U shape. Another lateral moraine is over there. That, that lower ridge is a lateral moraine. The glacier came through, pushed stuff to the side. Uh, what I mostly wanted to show you, there's no glacier here at the bottom right now. There was one 20,000 years ago, but slowly over time, uh, the climate changed and it's melted. But we do have active glaciers up at higher elevations. Okay. Hello, Moose. What's up? So, still in Banff, I think. Right? Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, we're at Pato Lake. That beautiful color you see is actually due to geology also. So as the glacier passes over the bedrock, it grinds the rock into really fine particles. As those particles wash into the lake, they become suspended in the water and they reflect the blue light back at us. So that's why it has that rich, beautiful turquoise color. So I mentioned before that all these rocks that we're seeing, they were deposited in the ocean, but we're in the mountains. We're in the Canadian Rockies right now. We're probably over five, 6,000 feet of elevation right now. So how did they go from below sea level to this high elevation that we're at right now? Uh, the answer to that is plate tectonics. So around a hundred million years ago or so, there was a plate uh, underneath the Pacific Ocean that collided with North America. So if you imagine, let's say you have layers of Play-Doh on top of each other and you squeeze it from both sides, it's gonna get thicker in the middle and it's gonna get taller in the middle and it's going to deform. So if you look at the layers behind me, you'll notice they aren't flat. All sedimentary layers are deposited horizontally but these we notice that over there they start to tip upward and then on the other side of the valley they start to tip downward this used to be 
a fold, which is called an anticline, that was caused by this compression of plate tectonics. And that's what created the Rocky Mountains. Cool. Okay, you're on. Hi, Bear. Okay, I can't help myself. The geology is just too cool. I had to stop one last time and tell you about this awesome place. So we're in a broad, flat valley with steep walls, clearly carved by a glacier. The glacier's gone, it's melted, but we still have a glacier up there. Can you see it? Way up there. Big white thing. So what's happening now is that glacier's melting and it's forming this river. As the river flows through, it has enough energy to move these cobbles and boulders around and deposit them here. But then, once it reaches the bottom where the lake is, the energy stops and it can no longer move this stuff. So it deposits the finer grain stuff until eventually you're left with the finest material which makes the lake so colorful. Neato, right? Pedo Lake is pretty sweet. You should come here sometime.